When you subscribe to a Plugin Alliance subscription bundle, the easiest way to install all of your plugins is with the Installation Manager. You can also install individual plugins. Note that currently Gig Performer 3 will not be installed through the Installation Manager. If your subscription bundle includes GP3, download it from the Plugin Alliance website. Download the Installation Manager here. The link will be in the description below. After install, open it and log in with your Plugin Alliance account credentials. If your studio computer is connected to the internet, choose Download Install to download and install the plugins to the current computer. We'll look at the other options later. Choose your platform. Then you can filter by extension to include or exclude different formats. For example, if you only use Pro Tools, you may want to deselect the other formats and only choose AAX. But in general, it's a good idea to grab everything except SoundGrid unless you specifically need it. Under Show, choose Subscription Bundles. Or if you only want to install a single plugin or a few plugins, choose All Products or My Products and type in the name of the plugin. Repeat this process for additional plugins. But we want to install all of the plugins in our subscription. Select the bundle you want to install. Optionally, you can expand the triangle and select or deselect specific plugins. But we want everything. To the right, you'll see all of the plugins you will be downloading and the file size. Click Download and Install and wait for the process to complete. For those wondering, this is where the files are downloaded to on Windows. Once the download is complete, click Install. Change the VST2 location if need be. VST3 and AAX plugins will always be installed to their default paths. And then click Install. After installation, click Exit and open your DAW to see your new plugins. For Pro Tools, you'll be prompted to authorize your plugins at launch. For some other DAWs like Studio One, you'll do this once inside of a session. Instantiate a plugin on an insert. As long as you are connected to the internet, you can authorize all of your plugins at once from this window. You have three licenses per plugin and you can authorize directly to your computer hard drive or to any USB flash drive. Sort of like iLock, but way better. If you authorize a flash drive, you can take that drive to any computer and your Plugin Alliance plugins will be authorized and ready to go. Of course, you'll still have to install the plugins on each computer you want to use. And there's no problem in directly authorizing a computer and a flash drive so you can quickly switch between computers. You can even use the same flash drive that you use for Waves plugins. We'll authorize a flash drive and activate all of our licenses at once. After the quick process is complete, all of your Plugin Alliance plugins are authorized and ready to be used. If you ever want to see your authorized devices or deactivate a device in order to move the licenses to another machine or flash drive, go to Your Account, Manage Devices, and from here you can see each device, the number of licenses on the device, and you can click this button to deactivate the device and send all of the licenses back to your account, which can then be activated on a different device. To see individual licenses, go to Your Account, Manage Your Licenses. And from here, you can see each plugin, how many devices are activated, and how many available licenses you have. Click the plus icon to see exactly which device or devices that license is activated on. You can also deactivate the license from here. If you need to activate an offline computer, Choose Offline during activation. Follow the on-screen instructions. And download your license file. 
transfer the file to the offline computer and open the license file to complete activation. Of course, it would be much easier to simply activate a flash drive and move it between workstations when needed. If you need to install your plugins on an offline computer, or you need to install your plugins to several computers and don't want to have to download the files on each workstation, head to the Installation Manager. This time, choose Download Export. Select the proper platform, format types, and bundle or individual plugins. Click Download and Export, then wait for the download to finish. Once the download is complete, choose Save As. Choose a location like a flash drive or your computer hard drive. Give it a descriptive name and save the file. Once complete, you can close the Installation Manager. If you saved the file to your computer hard drive, you can drag it to a flash drive to copy to another computer. To install the package on a computer, you'll need the Installation Manager. So download it on your internet connected computer and transfer the installer to your offline machine. You can also install your Plugin Alliance plugins this way on an internet connected machine, but let's do it offline. Choose Import Install, click Import, and select the saved plugin package. Click Install and wait for the process to complete. Once finished, exit the Installation Manager, open your DAW, and authorize your plugins with the offline method described previously, or use your authorized flash drive. For those who need to install their plugins to several computers, or those who do mobile work, it can be a good idea to authorize a USB flash drive and place the installer for the installation manager and your downloaded plugin package on the same flash drive. This way, you'll always have your authorizations and the ability to install your Plugin Alliance plugins no matter where you work and even if you don't have an internet connection. When new plugins are added to a bundle, you can install them from the installation manager by looking through My Products, for example, or searching for the name. But you can also simply head to the Plugin Alliance website, locate the new plugin, scroll to the bottom of the page, and download the installer for that individual plugin. Then install normally. Open your DAW and activate the new plugin with your preferred method.